Hi, today we're going to look at the Green Children from Woolpit. The legend of the Green Children of Woolpit, started during the reign of King Stephen in the mid-12th century. During the 12th century, the village of Woolpit in Suffolk was an agriculturally productive and densely populated part of rural England. Between the times of 1135 and 1154 CE, the villagers of Woolpit discovered two children, a brother and sister, near one of the wolf pits that gave the village its name. The skin was green, they spoke an unknown language, and their clothing was strange and unfamiliar. According to writings at the time by Ralph of Coggeshall, the children were taken to the nearby home of Sir Richard de Khan where he offered them food but they repeatedly refused to eat. This continued for some days until the children came across some green beans in Richard de Calne's garden, which they devoured. It is thought that the children lived with Richard de Khan for some years, where he was able to slowly convert them over to normal food. This alteration in their diet led to the children losing the green complexion. After learning to speak English, the children explained that they came from a land where the sun never shone and the light was like twilight. The children called their home St. Martin's Land. Ralph adds that everything there was green, the children were unable to account for their arrival in Woolpit except for they had been herding their father's cattle when they heard a loud noise, and suddenly found themselves by the wolf pit where they were found by the villagers. Ralph says that they had become lost when they followed the cattle into a cave and, after being guided by the sound of bells, eventually emerged into our land. Ralph says shortly after this revelation Richard de Khan took the children to be baptized in a local church, however the boy died shortly afterwards through an unknown illness. According to Ralph, the girl was employed for many years as a servant in Richard de Khan's household, the girl was given the name, Agnes, and she eventually married a royal official, Richard Barr from Kings Lynn, about 40 miles from Woolpit, and they eventually had a child. The theory that these children arrived from an underground world, where the native inhabitants are all green seems quite unbelievable, but this world we live on called Earth has proven to be an incredible place. Did these two children come from an inner civilization, just like the Ariani people from inner Antarctica? There are many examples throughout the planet of forever-ending holes, and enormous ancient lava channels that could have or still hold other species of life forms, that are similar to the human race. Or, could the little green children of Woolpit have traveled dimensions? David Icke is an English sports broadcaster and former Coventry City and Hereford United player. He has written over 20 books, self-published since the mid-90s, David Icke believes the universe to consist of vibrational energy and infinite dimensions sharing the same space. David Icke provides an amazing theory. There is an explanation of why the green children of Woolpit exist but it could be a cover-up. The children were apparently poisoned with arsenic and thrown to the woods to die by their uncle. But that don't seem to explain the green color skin and the text written, also if this were true, I know I would be choosing a piece of meat over a bean any day, especially if I had been out in the woods for how long but then again why did she marry a royal official? I would have been looking for a way back home if my story was true not starting a family in the new world I had stumbled into. I hope you have enjoyed today's episode of the Green Children of Woolpit. If you have any comments or question please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching another JMD TV video.